imagine that the game in Australia is on the manliest map. I would agree with that. Hi, I'm Nick from Riot with the uh, IFR, uh, and I'm part of the team here working on the uh, clay rampart. Uh, recently, we found a bit of timber corduroy. Can't really see it much anymore, but that sits right beneath the uh, clay rampart. Um, the reason why that's important is because obviously we have the north wall sitting here, and we have the clay rampart going up against it. So obviously, having the nice timber corduroys beneath the clay rampart gave it a nice solid base for. Um, to play around park to settle on. So here you see that we're sitting in a slot, and uh, obviously right here you can see the multiple different layers that we have in a clay rampart. So what we, we built, we made the slot basically so instead of going down context by context trying to see the differences in the clay, we could just do it in five centimeter spits and we could catch it in sections. So now that we've done all that, it's been recorded, everything's nice, we can now just take a matic for all of this and just bring it down to level. technique and I probably shouldn't be doing it. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm working up here at the Northern Rampart of Ribchester. Currently what we're excavating here is a series of stones that's running just in front of me here. Uh, and what this is, is just the foundations of the original guard tower that would have been built here for the Northern Gatehouse of the fort. Uh, so what we're basically doing here is clearing off this clay surface, which is a clay rampart built up against the wall. Uh, and then we're determining how the stones were placed here, whether they were cut into the rampart and placed later on, or whether they were an earlier thing and the rampart was then built up against them. Yeah, you can see in the walls it's one like over there especially. Yeah. 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 So what we're really doing, we're trailing off all of this clay, <laughs> so we're up the edge of the stones, then we're trying to find the stones over there, hopefully we then get to it.